So today a milestone was hit. We're over 600,000 confirmed cases of COVID-19 in the state and uh, we're very rapidly approaching 10,000 deaths in the state from COVID-19. There haven't been any new deaths reported by CDC provisional deaths for the past two days, uh, but I expect to see that number going up uh, because of the number of people in the intensive care unit with COVID-19. I just wanna highlight that when you're at 10,000 deaths in Oklahoma, that means that one in every 400 Oklahomans have died of COVID-19. And that's a rate of death that's higher than the national average, which currently sets at about one in 500 Americans have died from COVID-19. So it's fairly profound to, to think about one out of every 400 Oklahomans um, have died from COVID-19. It's, it's a substantial death toll that I don't think any of us ever expected that we would see. And the number of deaths, one in 400 Oklahomans have died of this disease. Will that help convince some who are vaccine hesitant? I don't know. Um, I, I find that people who know somebody, particularly if it's a family member that get infected, have severe complications, hospitalization, and even death. Sometimes those people do begin to, they, they realize how, how serious this is. Um, but we've known, you know, 650,000 Americans have died of this disease. Third leading cause of death in the country, a preventable disease and still people aren't getting the vaccine. I, it's a little bit hard to explain, but I'm not sure that the death statistics are enough to convince people. We're hitting somewhere around 1,900 deaths a day in the United States, which is high as we were last March. And again, case counts for COVID-19 are starting to fall across the entire nation, which is good, but deaths will lag and we're gonna see continued death rates that are high for some time to come. Again, the death impact of COVID-19 has been profound. One in 500 Americans have died. You know, how, how do we move beyond the, the politics of the, vac of the vaccine and the virus and the disease? And I, I don't know the best answer. I just would simply say that we need to treat this as a public health problem not a policy problem or a, public, uh, a political issue. It's just a virus. It's like measles, smallpox, polio. It's a virus that spreads easily from one person to another. It doesn't care what your color is, what your race is, what your religion is, what your political affiliation, it doesn't care. It just infects people and in some people, they get very, very sick and they die of the disease.